introducing the Hippocampus, the memory processor. Welcome to your Hippocampus. This part of your brain, located right above your ears, is responsible for big tasks. It encodes incoming memories, so that way they can be stored for long-term usage. So what's really cool about the Hippocampus is that it's shaped like a seahorse, and that's where it gets its name, Hippocampus. We are going to learn about the left hippocampus first. The left hippocampus controls all verbal information that comes into your brain before it gets put in long-term memory storage. So, let's say for instance that you were going to class and you are meeting new people for the first time and you heard their name. Well, thanks to your left hippocampus, you'd be able to remember that at least on a short-term basis. But we're going to take a look and see what happens to Jennifer when her left hippocampus fails her. Hey, I saw you in math class today. My name's Jennifer. What's your name? My name's Micah. It's nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. We're trying to work on that homework from Dr. Yeah. Bond's class today. It's, yeah. It's really hard. I, can't, I don't understand it. That's what I was going to ask if you understood it. Do you have any clue what we're supposed to be doing? Do you ever understand this class? Hey Jennifer, how you doing? Um, okay. How are you? Do I know you? Yeah, you know, we met yesterday, Micah. Well, okay, if you say so. We just saw what happened to Jennifer when her left hippocampus failed her. She couldn't remember Micah's name, and that's a problem. But now, we're going to move on, and we're going to take a look at the right hippocampus. It is responsible for your location memory and your spatial orientation memory, in the short term, of course. So, let's say for instance that your friend called you up and wanted to show you a new place. So you could go to that place with her and then maybe even show another friend later. But, once again, we're going to find Jennifer in a predicament. And her right hippocampus? Not so great, so let's watch and see what happens when her right hippocampus isn't on board. Hi, Erin. You said that there was a new place down by the river that you were going to show me. I just got out of class and have some time. Um, I'm on the porch outside the coffee shop here. Do you want to meet me and do you have time to show me? Okay, great. Well, I'll just wait here until you get here. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye. just witnessed what Jennifer's failing right hippocampus did for her. Absolutely nothing. She couldn't remember where to take her friend. She was supposed to take her to the river, but she couldn't remember where it was. So, to recap, today you have been learning about the hippocampus, which helps with short-term memory. And the left hippocampus controls all of your verbal information. And your right hippocampus helps control all of the location information and spatial orientation that comes into your brain. So, you guys will have to remember all this. This has been your public service announcement about your hippocampus. Remember, if your hippocampus is working, you should remember everything in this.